Alright. Alright, let's get this all together. Let me put my hair in a ponytail. Hi, beautiful people on YouTube. I'm back. It's Missy's Miracles, and I have a story time for you guys. I have a scary moment that just happened not too long ago. I actually just came back um, in from my mom's and from getting an Uber, which is what I had to tell you about. Um, mind you, it's really late right now. It's like um, 1 o'clock in the morning, so I'm kind of really tired. I was going to stay a night, the night at my mom's, but I was just like, no, I really want to go home. Just go lay down. So, um, basically, I ordered the Uber home, and, um, like, this guy is just giving me weird vibes already when I saw, like, the picture, and my sister said the same thing, because, um, yeah, she said the same thing, like, before he even came, she was like, um, he looks suspicious, I'm like, girl, don't say that, oh my gosh, don't say that, because I have to go get in the car with this man, like, She's like, oh my gosh, girl. But anyway, so he ends up coming to the house to pick me up. And I don't know what happened if I, like, set the location wrong or something on um, on the Uber app. But it, like, he, like, was not even close to the dang door. I was right here, he's up here up the street, so he's calling, and then I'm like, um, hello, because I've seen some lights, I came out the door and I've seen some lights, I'm like, hello, uh, he's like, yeah, uh, this is your Uber driver, did you order, I'm like, um, okay, yeah, um, is this you, like, I think you have to come to the back, so he comes to the back, and he didn't even, like, pull all the way up, like, I had to go walk further to the car like it's cold outside like you see me struggling like help me get to leave your car a little bit easier like help me out so when we get in the car or when i got in the car because oh i was by myself but when i got in the car like um oh my gosh <laughs> he already like starts questioning me like really personal stuff like things like oh my gosh uh do you got a boyfriend like i believe that was the first question that he asked me bro like do i have a boyfriend are you kidding me like um oh no i should have stayed home at my mom's house but after that okay then i was just like okay maybe he'll stop at that um and then I'm like, yeah, I have a boyfriend, and so on and so forth. So he goes on to just um, say, yeah, well, I'm trying to meet new people. Like, I just moved here from someone. So, like, um, I'm like, well, yeah, well, I, I stay home. I don't really meet new people like that. I'm a homebody. And he's like, well, yeah, um, so do you drink? And I'm like, um no not like that not right now anyways and he's like oh yeah um i hear people drink a lot around these parts and i'm like um okay well he's like do you drink do you drink i'm like um no no I, no so i start asking him questions back questions back because like why are you asking me personal questions about my life so I'm like, okay, so um, you just moved here from California. Like, why did you move here? Um, he's like, oh, because I got like for my job. It's for my job. Yeah, yeah. So then, um, I'm like, okay, so, um, like you got an apartment? Like, what's up with you? Like, you asking me all these questions? Like, what I do for a living? And like, come on, you was doing way too much, bro. Like. I already told you I was tired. I told you I had a man, like, and I told you I want to go home. Like, why are you steady asking me? Like, but and then like he's like, so you, so you, so you have a boyfriend? You said I was like, uh huh. Why? Like, why are you asking me these questions? And I just told you. And then I kept. I was like starting to get so scared, bro, because he just made me feel so uncomfortable. Like. 
was so uncomfortable and like sorry something's over here like scratching me in the leg <laughs> but I was so uncomfortable and I'm like just get me out of this car get me out of this car get me out of this car I just I was grabbing my my bag and like my phone like looking at the clock like if I gotta call the police if I gotta do something I'm like dang I don't even got no taser or no pepper spray like this would be a perfect time to have um I'm sorry this would be the perfect time to have that stuff on my keychain but I was so, I was screaming on the inside, I'm like, let me out of this car, let me out of this car, like, I hope this man don't, like, try to drive off with me and kidnap me, like, bro, I was scared, so, um, we finally, you know, are just sitting in silence, and then, um, he just wanted to just keep asking me personal questions, so, I was asking him personal questions, and I was, we were driving past, like, we were driving past things and i'm like oh yeah so look you see that isn't that nice and then he was like so what do you do for fun around here i'm like i just told you like i would be in the house <laughs> like are you not comprehending come on now so it was just crazy but i'm just thankful that god got me back to that house like i mean i'm back to that house like safe and sound bro like i thought he was really about to do something but I'm definitely about to get like some pepper spray, um, a little mini taser, a little shank, I don't know, something to put on my keychain because bro, people be wilding and stuff. So whoever like that Uber driver like just mm, confirmed it for me, like I'm not about to be I'm not about to I'm not about to go outside bro. I'm not about to go nowhere like really like that like people just keep on showing me <laughs> that they just stay in the house but it's whatever you know he's he seemed like he was drunk oh I think I was supposed to say that I was like looking at him like and looking in his rear view mirror I'm like nigga you look oh excuse my language but dude like you look like you're drunk yourself like you just study trying to ask him questions and say like bring up people drinking like are you out of your mind and then it was just that like and he was like even ignoring my questions like that's what made it worse like you over here questioning me all up in my business but then you want to ignore my questions like you cannot do that to someone that's like that's like yeah and that's just giving major red flags and then oh yeah this is another thing like he was like um um yeah i'm gonna be um you know i'm getting an apartment i just came here from cali or whatever um so yeah i'm gonna be here for a while so what about you i'm like i'm definitely not about to be here because you know it could, be, it could go like I don't want to be here I want to be somewhere where it's warm and stuff like that and he's like uh, you need a man and I'm like bro I don't need a man I just want money and food and he was like uh, yeah you want money food and a man like no I just was so ready to go up to that car i was ready to be like yo pull me over I me mean, pull over and let me out of your car right now like oh uh, anyways that was like my story time for you guys it was so traumatizing but i got out of there um safe and sound and i probably won't be um oh yeah i got a bruise because i was moving some furniture and stuff i will um upload a vlog a vlog on that later and give you guys some insight but um yeah uh, i actually didn't realize i bruised myself until you know later on a day later or whatever but it's okay anywho um won't be getting any ubers for a little while now so yeah 
um that also just made me think like wow these people are nuts bro like you cannot put in your legit address in these apps like you gotta put in like the address like like one number or a couple numbers up and like walk to your apartment if you have to like if you really feel uncomfortable or if you did put in your actual address just like don't even walk straight to the house like bro just keep walking until you see that they car pulled off or something like do not leave them there but bro yeah i'm safe and sound <laughs> so thank you guys for watching let me know your freaking scary experience with uber drivers or like thirsty men because i think he was just really thirsty i don't think like well it was creepy but he was also just really thirsty like slow your road let me know your experience in the comments below and i'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff done and um get some rest so peace have a miraculous night or morning whenever you'll see this video bye oh yeah well i just ended this video but i wanted to include like when I was getting out of the car, oh, I should be looking at the camera over here. When I was getting out of the car, like, I knew he was thirsty because he had the nerve to look at me and stare me down when I was getting out of the car. Like, okay, I was like, have a good night. And he's like, have a good night. And then he literally broke his neck, bro. He broke his neck to turn around and look me, like, up and down. You know how guys be when they, you know when they go ahead and you know look at you and check you out when you get out the car look at your butt look at your butt and all that that's i keep forgetting the camera right here that's what he did like oh, thirsty but i hope you find somebody for you but it's not me but i have a good blessed night anyways okay <laughs> i just have to come back and include that y'all but i'm gonna let you go for all this time bye so, um, another thing I was gonna add was, like, basically, like, I'm gonna be getting, like, my license, like, in, in 111 days. I forgot I calculated this. Last night, I calculated this, and it's 111 days. Oh, that's gonna be the, the solution to the problem. And I actually, actually have a car, but I can't even be driving it right now because I don't have my license. But anyways, all of it could have been avoided, but pretty soon I won't even have to deal with this. But yeah, all right, I'm gonna let y'all go for this time. Bye, I love you. Bye.